Hey there, welcome to Manitix Stringworks. Glad to have you here. Please remember to like and subscribe for more video content. All right, today on the bench, we've got my 2020 Squire Precision Bass. It's becoming part of a bit of a project bass now. <laughs> so today uh, we are gonna change the pick guard. I'm not a big fan of the boring black pick card on there so I picked up this nice tortoiseshell pick card from Music Lily on Amazon. I bought quite a few of their pick cards before. They're well priced. They're very nice, good quality. So let's uh, let's get at it. Here's just the listing on Amazon. So you see it's $18. And they got lots of colors. It's four ply. And what's nice is they also have a schematic drawing of the pick card that shows the dimensions, the measurements between the holes so you can check your base and also for the pickup openings. So we'll see how that works out later. All right, well, let's get those screws off and I like to use the driver here, it's a little quicker. Now, sometimes this is a factory guitar, uh, nothing's ever been done to it, so those screws are pretty tight. So I'll loosen them a little bit by hand and then come back with the driver, take them out. You don't want to strip the heads off the screws. All right, so these control knobs are just a press fit, so just pull them out. They should come out relatively easily. <laughs> I just wanted to show you a close-up of the split shaft pot. So that's what that is, right? So split shaft, it's meant for the press fit knobs, not for the knobs that have the little set screw. You need a solid shaft for those, or should have a solid shaft for those. All right, 7 sixteenths Slim Wrench from Stumac. Loosen these, these off, and then we will be able to get the pick guard off the base. Always have a little parts bin nearby. Put all your parts in there, don't lose them. So, just checking everything, making sure it's good. And while they're out, you might as well clean them with some electrical contact cleaner. So spray a little bit inside the pot. Make sure you find the opening, get in there. And then after you've done each one of them, just twist around the shaft a whole bunch of times. That'll clean it up nicely. I didn't have any noise issue with the base, but you know, why not? It's open, might as well do it. So we'll loosen the strings off. I'm not gonna take them off yet, but just loosen them enough so that if I do need to move them around a bit to get the pick card out, then it's easier to do. So now the pick card should just lift off the body. I'll just push that pot back through. There you go. Simple as that. Hmm, not much shielding there. <laughs> One little strip over the control cavity. I did notice that the finish was discolored under the pick guard, which is kind of strange. It's only a two-year-old base. All right, so we'll open up the pick guard from the packaging. And they always send screws, which is nice. And very cheap pick. <laughs> Throw that out. Now there's some more shielding. So we got it over the pickup and the control cavity. So I just wanted to show you a close-up of the four plies, right? So that's really nice. You've got the tortoise shell, white, black, and then white. So it's good thickness, good quality. All right, here we go. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Who doesn't like that? All right, so let's see how this pick guard fits. So get it lined up, get the pots through the holes. And the screw holes all seem to fit nicely, but, or line up nicely, but the pickup opening, hmm, not quite working. So there's a bit of an issue there. So I'm gonna loosen the strings off completely get them out of the way. So I noticed the pickup covers were a little squarish, bigger maybe. So if I use the old pick guard and place it over the new one, the screw holes line up. So now I look at the pickup opening and there's just a little bit there on the left side of each of the pickups that's hanging over. So I basically made a template with the old pick guard by screwing it over the new one and I think you can just see that on the left side the excess material that's there. So I'm going to file that down gently, carefully with a series of different files, flat files, round files sneak up on it uh, just so I get to the edge of the old pick guard. I'm not going to go right to the edge of the old pick guard. I don't want to damage that pick guard And you'll see here, so I've just got it on the workbench, and that's why I screwed it to that piece of masonite. Just is easier to hold on to, control. So, uh, you know, some round files, some flat files, you know, gently going at it, sneaking up on it, as it were. I, uh, I probably took about 15, 20 minutes to do it, so not too bad. I did find though when I tried it on uh, after that I did need to square the corners because the corners on those pickups they're very square. Usually they're a little more rounded and that's why the pick guards are like that. But anyways I squared off those corners a little bit. And I'll just check the fit. So again we'll get those pots lined up with the holes. I'll go around, the screw holes look good. And there we go. It actually sat right down in there nicely. Pickups move up and down, so I'm happy with that. I did notice, though, there's another layer of protective film. <laughs> so double bagged. So let's take that off. That pick guard really shines now with that second layer off. I hate when there's plastic left on it, and the little screws. There's always little bits of plastic under the screws, so it's always better to take it off now. So now I'll use a socket to tighten them up by hand. Works well, I like that. Nice long socket as well so the shaft of the pot will stick up in the middle and I just usually I place the screws by hand just one little two turns and then I'll come back with the driver on a low torque setting in this case on this driver it's 5 out of 15 so that way it's not going to strip out the screw heads and it's a lot faster to do it this way If you're careful, you shouldn't damage your instrument, so don't worry about using a driver. Then I'll tighten up the pots uh, one last time with a 7 16 Stumac wrench. You'll see the strings are back on, and I'll press fit the knobs now. These fit nice and snug, so they shouldn't come off. And the last thing I'll do is adjust the pickup height because we did fool around with the humbucking pickup especially. So I'll check that. So I'd like to see one eighth of an inch under the base side and three thirty seconds under the treble side. So that's the measurement from the top side of the pickup pole to the underside of the string above it. And 
And again, that's a starting point, so try it out there. And if you find you don't have enough signal or you have too much signal, uh, just adjust your pickups up and down to your preference. And that's it. There she is. I think it looks a lot better with that tortoise shell pickguard. Better than the boring black. Really nice, really sharp. Makes it pop and stand out. So, Relatively simple. Had a little fiddling to do. But that's okay. That's what I do in the shop. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Bye for now.